Hi everybody, this is Pierre here and I wanted to share something with you that happened to me recently. My model is a 2019 Kona Ultimate model, so the top trim level, and the BMS update for the recall from Hyundai had been applied to the vehicle already. And I had to recently use the car. Uh, as you can see, I used almost all the energy. There was only 5% left in my battery when I got to a fast charger station. So I started uh, charging on a 50 kilowatt uh, charging station. Everything was going great. Um, outside it was about minus 12 degrees Celsius, so about 10 Fahrenheit. Despite that, you know, it only took a few minutes for the charging uh, to go up to 40, and then I topped out at around 48, 49 kilowatt, which is very good. One thing to note here is after the BMS update was applied, I recharged at home a few times and didn't run into any issues. And this was the first time I was recharging on a fast charger since the BMS update. As usual, around 74%, the level of energy dropped to around 34, 35 kilowatt, which is what I expected. Then suddenly, yes, shortly after it reached 75%, the charging stopped. My dashboard went dark, as you see there, and um, the charging station stopped as well. I knew the battery wasn't fully charged because my limit was set to 80%. So I got out of the car, I checked the charging station, and that's the message I could see. It simply says there was an error charging. I tried a few times to restart the charging and the charger was saying that the car had canceled the charging session. So I got back into the car and tried to start it with the start button. As you can see, the system gave me an error, the check electric vehicle system error. And the icon on the left uh, was also indicating the same error and the battery icon was lit up as well. When this message was appearing, it looked as if the car was turned on. However, I could only put it in neutral uh, or in park. If I was trying either drive or reverse, nothing would happen. The, the button would not eliminate the drive button and the reverse button, and the car wouldn't move. The car was towed back to the Hyundai dealer that sold me the car. And the next day, I got a message saying that they were analyzing code and that they had sent it to Hyundai Canada for getting the instruction on how to proceed. The following day, they contacted me again to say that according to the code, uh, the main battery would need to be replaced and that they have asked Hyundai if uh, Hyundai would, of course, pay for the replacement and send them a replacement battery. And one day later, they called me again to say Hyundai uh, Canada accepted the replacement and they will um, let them know when the battery is available. So I'm at that step of waiting for what's going to happen next. I will let you guys know with our video of what happens in the next step. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I think it'll be interesting to see how this uh, evolves and the battery replacement and how long it's going to take and so on. And also what happens after the battery is replaced. Will I see the same range as before? I'll, I'll let you guys know. So in the meantime, you guys take care and safe driving.